Hey guys, Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for their weekly update. Today's update, we're actually going to take a look at KDB Connect and something that just recently came out from KDBRI about how you can start to utilize KDB Command immediately. Now, some of you guys may already be using KDB Command, so this might be uh, you know something you can just kind of bypass altogether. But these are basically going to be three simple steps to start with KDB Command immediately. All right, and we've actually been telling agents, hey, these are the main things to really focus on for the past couple months. So it's good to get reassurance that what I've been saying is correct. It's always nice to see that. All right, so the first thing we're going to see on here once we're under KDB Connect is where we can actually search for everything. So what we're going to type in is three simple steps. All right, so we're just going to type in three simple steps on here and click our handy dandy enter button. All right, so once we do that, then it's going to pop up on here with a couple different items for us to take a look at. All right, now the first thing we're actually going to see on here is three simple steps to start using command. All right, so once we actually click on this, all right, then it's going to pop up. Here's our course info on here. We don't need to worry about purchasing anything, anything like that. All right, but under materials on here, for the student file, we can actually click on the three simple steps to start using command checklist. All right, this is version 1.0. I can imagine they'll come out with additional versions on here too. And once we click on that, that'll download the PDF for us to utilize immediately. All right, so I downloaded the PDF. I went ahead and launched it on here. And here's what the PDF looks like. Nothing too, too crazy, but it's something you can start to utilize. So first things first, log on to KDB Command. And it'll have a little check option for you to complete right over here, too. All right, log on to KDB, or sorry, log on with the KDB login credentials. And if you forgot your password, click forgot password. And there's even a little eye icon over here for you to get some information on it, too. Step two, create a contact. Step three, create an opportunity. All right, that's simple. So the contacts and the opportunities are definitely the biggest things that you'll really want to focus on. So I definitely want to show you how simple it is to actually get this little checklist on here to start to utilize command right away in case you haven't already. Now, if you've already started using command, you probably don't need to worry about this. But for those that are just now getting into it, whether they're brand new agents or agents that are making the transition from another CRM to command, all right, this will help out tremendously. So there you go. All right, so that is your KDB command tip for the day.